starting EVA tomorrow. With the Columbus Laboratory successfully up and running on the International Space Station, Belgian ESA astronaut Frank de Winner will be the second European astronaut to spend six months on the ISS. In May 2009, he'll fly with Russian cosmonaut Roman Romanenko and Canadian Space Agency astronaut Robert Thursk on a Russian Soyuz spacecraft to the ISS. His backup for the trip will be Dutch ESA astronaut André Kupers. Well, my role on board the ISS will be, of course, to conduct all the experiments for the benefit of the European scientists, the ESA experimental program. Besides that, I will have a lot of operational tasks as well. And for the last uh, months of my stay, I will uh, probably be the commander of the International Space Station. Apart from carrying out an extensive scientific program during the six-month period that he spends in space, De Winner will be operating the station robotic arm and the Japanese robotic arm after the docking of HTV, the cargo module from Japan. In preparation for all these activities, De Winner has been going through an intensive and long period of training. Of course, that's important that you train uh, a long time because, first of all, the station is very complex but also uh, microgravity, learning to work in microgravity is something that you learn through training. De Winner is no newcomer to this training and working in microgravity. He was the backup for French East astronaut Leopold Dehars, who installed Columbus to the ISS in February 2008. De Winner has trained on the shuttle, the ISS, on Columbus and the ATV. As a result, he's already very familiar with these spacecraft. Moreover, he spent 12 days in space on board the ISS in 2002 for ESA and Belgium's Odyssea mission. During this mission, Just Frank de Winner carried out a complete package of scientific experiments, technology demonstrations and education activities. While all this experience will clearly serve him well, each time an astronaut goes into space, his body must readjust to the new and different atmosphere. His present training is aimed at both preparing him physically for this, but also for practicing the experiments he'll have to carry out aboard the ISS. Experiments that often have oh, important okay. applications back on Earth. Uh, basically what we are trying to do, or what the scientists are trying to determine, is if microgravity influences our perceptions of parallel lines. Orientation is something that is very important uh, also here on Earth, how people can orient themselves. Often all elderly people have problems with that. And by trying to measure the processes also in microgravity that are happening in our brain, scientists try to determine if they can find uh, also cures for diseases here on Earth. While in orbit, De Winner will have to again get used to the microgravity environment where even the simplest everyday function, such as sleeping, takes on a very different perspective aboard the ISS. Then <laughs> it's important to be fixed somewhere. It does not necessarily need to be on the wall. It can be on the floor, it can be on the ceiling. But you have to be fixed somewhere, and that's actually the function of the sleeping bag. Not so much to keep you warm, because it's not cold in the space station, but uh, to fix you somewhere so that during the night you don't float away and bump your head against something. To spend such a long period in the space station, De Winner has to be in excellent physical shape and maintain this during his six months up there. Yeah, for short-term missions, uh, it's not so important to do uh, the exercise. It's, uh, you don't have uh, so much time to lose your muscle mass and, uh, and bone, lo bone density. But on long-duration missions, you have to start, after the first week, you have to start straight away in order not to be very fragile when you come back on Earth. So you need to train every day, exercise, train your muscles and put pressure on, uh, on your bones. With the Columbus Laboratory in space, Europe now has a very real long-term investment in the ISS. Frank De Winner's long-term stay there is the second of many for Europe's astronauts. This marks a new phase in human exploration for Europe, which will ultimately see European citizens on the Moon and Mars.